Welcome to the Teacher Rockstar Podcast. The podcast is dedicated to providing valuable insights, practical tips, and proven strategies to equip new teachers for success. I'm your host, Steve Hiles, educator, published author, and instructional coach. Join me in each episode as we offer a supportive platform for navigating the challenges of the teaching profession. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be discussing something near and dear to my heart, and that's reading books together in class. Now, this isn't just about flipping through pages. It's about the shared experiences, the magic of stories, and the incredible discussions that unfold. Before I get deep into this episode, I want to share a bit about what Doug Lamov says in his educational article. I'm going to paraphrase here, okay? Now, he cites uh, the fact that kids are reading fewer and fewer books outside of school. That in many ELA classrooms, students are reading short passages rather than books. And that the books students do read in school are often chosen to be appealing and accessible rather than for their literary merit. Okay. Um, uh, Goes on to say, some educators believe that the content of what students read is not important. That reading instruction should focus on developing skills that will transfer to other passages and standardized tests. Not true, says the mob, pointing to studies showing that learning discrete reading skills, i.e. main idea, inferencing, comprehension, etc., does not transfer across subject matter domains or to high stakes tests. Okay. The mob believes that there are three more benefits to a class reading a book together. First, understanding the narrator's voice, trustworthy, pompous, uh, subtle, ironic. Second, putting students in touch with important societal ideas and core knowledge. For example, knowing what a mention of Big Brother is all about. Okay, and of course, third is understanding the archaic syntax and vocabulary of classic books is often a struggle, requiring students to read a passage two and three times. And that's a good thing. If students never read text that is more than 50 or 100 years old, says Amov, the writing of the past will slip further and further away from them. Do we want a society where students lack familiarity with such writing and the mindset to persist at the challenges it presents? Uh, I can't imagine it would be a good thing, but only a small number of experts can extract meaning from on the origin of species or the U.S. Constitution. Are you a teacher who finds yourself drowning in the challenges of classroom management? Do student behaviors leave you feeling overwhelmed and drained at the end of each day? Picture this, a classroom where your students are not just present, but fully engaged, focused, and eager to learn. Say goodbye to classroom management stress and hello to success. The Teacher Rockstar Academy course is meticulously designed to equip you with the tools and strategies needed to skyrocket your effectiveness as a teacher. Curious to know if the Teacher Rockstar Academy course is the missing piece in your teaching journey? If you're ready to reclaim control of your classroom and witness the incredible impact on your students, then use the link in the podcast description to learn more about this program. Okay, now, imagine a classroom where students are each holding a copy of the same book. There's a buzz of excitement as they open to the first chapter. Reading together in the class isn't just about learning to read, it's about creating a community of readers. Uh, It's like a mini book club where everyone gets to share their thoughts and perspectives. Now, why is this, you know, so uh, powerful? Okay, well, when students read the same book together, They're not just learning to decode words. They're learning to interpret and analyze stories as a group. This shared experience fosters a sense of belonging and opens up a space for rich discussions. Students can compare their interpretations, argue about characters' motives, and even question the author's choices. It's like opening a treasure chest of insights that they might not have discovered on their own. Now, one of the biggest benefits of reading books together in class is the way it enhances comprehension. You know, when a student reads alone, they might miss certain nuances or struggle with complex themes. But, you know, in a group, they can uh, ask questions, hear different perspectives. A classmate might point out something they missed or explain a difficult concept in a new way. It's a collective brain power at work. And it's truly amazing to witness, okay? Let's not forget the social emotional benefits. Books often tackle tough subjects, 
you know, things like friendship, conflict, love, loss. When students read about these experiences, they can relate them to their own lives. Discussing these themes in a safe, structured environment helps them to develop empathy and emotional intelligence. It's not just about the story, it's about the human uh, experience behind the story. Now, <clears throat> another great aspect is the confidence boost. Some students might be shy or reluctant to speak up in other contexts, but talking about a book gives them a platform. It's a shared reference point that everyone understands, making it easier for them to join conversation. Now, over time, this can significantly build their confidence, both in their reading and their speaking skills. Teachers uh, play a crucial role here, acting as facilitators. They guide discussions, pose thought-provoking questions, and help students dig deeper into the text. They can also bring in supplemental materials like historical context or author biographies that enrich the reading experience. It's a dynamic process where the teacher and students are co-learners exploring the text together. All right, now let's talk about the fun factor. Yes, fun. Reading uh, together can be incredibly enjoyable. Think about the excitement of cliffhangers, the joy of unexpected plot twists, or the satisfaction of a well-deserving ending. When a class shares these moments, it creates a sense of camaraderie and collective enjoyment. Plus, incorporating activities like dr dramatic readings, okay, or uh, creative projects can make the experience even more engaging. Now, we also can't ignore the power of diverse perspectives. When students read books from different genres, cultures, and authors, they expand their horizons. A classroom discussion might reveal how a story resonates differently with each student based on their background and experiences. This not only broadens their understanding of the world, but also teaches them to appreciate and respect different uh, viewpoints. Now, lastly, I want to address uh, the long-term impact. Okay, when students develop a love for reading through these shared experiences, it often sticks with them for life. They're more likely to become lifelong readers, which has countless benefits from improved cognitive skills uh, to better mental health. And who knows, maybe one day they'll pass on this love of reading to their own children. Okay, now I want to mention a very important point here. You know, I'm all for children having voice and choice when it comes to selecting their own reading material as well. Like, for example, in our reading uh, readers workshops. However, I also think it's a, a great benefit reading a book together as a class, like a classic, a rich literary read. So having said that, why not do both? OK, which I would highly recommend doing. I believe students would get so much value from this. OK. So there you have it, my friend. Reading books together in class is so much more than an educational activity. It is a journey of discovery, a means of building community, and a way to foster empathy and understanding. If you haven't experienced it yet, I hope this episode inspires you to give it a try. Thanks for tuning in to the Teacher Rockstar Podcast. I'm your host, Steve Hiles, and we'll see you same time, same place next week. And remember, my friend, you got this. You've been listening to the Teacher Rockstar Podcast with your host, Steve Hiles. We hope you've enjoyed this podcast as much as we have. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our ever-growing community of teacher rock stars. Until then, thanks for listening.